Hi everyone, Irit here, and I'm excited to share with you my second project for Cheeky Studio as the May guest designer. Um, I was explaining to you stuff about the photos here, but I think it's kind of boring. So <laughs> I was talking to the camera, but um, now I'm just going to uh, fast forward it. And I'm just showing you a little bit my memory planner. And actually, May is the last month. I started this in June of 2017. And I haven't um, documented every week. Oh, look how small Lily was. That's what I was showing you there. <laughs> I haven't documented every week. But I think up until February, I probably did like two spreads every month. So it is quite a good representation of our daily lives and I'll get to that uh, a bit later. So I'm showing you that usually I use my HP Sprocket for my memory planner, but I cleared my phone from all the photos because the memory was full and I usually like to print on the HP Sprocket directly from my phone. Uh, and I don't know, you can probably hook it up to your computer. I have no idea. I like the Sprocket because I can use it just for my phone and I don't need the computer. But because I didn't have the photos from this week on my phone, I used these uh, smaller prints with my Canon Selfie. So if you're not aware, the Canon Selfie has a few sizes of uh, papers and there's the card size, there's the regular 4x6 size, and there's also a card size with a square uh, there, I'm showing you. So this is the one I used here. It's just like photo paper. It's not a sticker. I tried to peel it off and nope, <laughs> it's not sticker paper <laughs> because the sprocket uh, has sticker paper, which I really like for the memory planner. And then there's also this square uh, card size, which is uh, kind of a label. So it is also on sticker paper. And uh, these are fun. I have to say, I think the quality is probably a little bit better or a lot better than the sprocket, even though I I really enjoy the sprocket and I think the quality is good enough for me for these small photos that are in my uh, planner. Sorry about the hectic hand movement. I do speak with my hands and now that it's fast forward, uh, it looks really crazy. So I'm just showing you, you have, you can see on the screen, I have this photos that, that is a little bit cut off uh, from the edges. And that happens to me occasionally with the selfie, with a Canon selfie. And the way I found that resolved this for me is whenever I sent from Photoshop, when I sent something to be printed on my Canon selfie, you have the whole menu opens up and then there's uh, a like a, a window that opens up for the options to print with all the different sizes and if you want it bordered or not bordered. And I found that if I just click on one option and then go back to the option that I actually want, um, that avoids the whole cutting off the photo situation. That w That's what works for me. So for I usually print on the 6x4 bordered setting and then what I would do is um, I'll click on something else like the 6x4 or 4x6 uh, unbordered, unbordered I think they call it, the one without the border and <laughs> I'll click on that and then I'll click again on the bordered one and for some reason, I don't know, maybe it kind of um, refreshes the whole thing, I have no idea, but when I do that, my photos don't get cut off. And when I don't do that, when I just leave it on the four by six bordered setting and, you know, print a bunch of photos, chances are that I will get one of the photos at least uh, cut off like that. So I, you know, it's an extra step, but I don't want to waste this paper and ink. It's quite uh, expensive. I mean, it's not crazy expensive if you don't print a lot of photos and you scrap everything you print. Uh, for me, it works really well because I have discovered that if I print a bunch of photos, you know, in a store or some online service, um, I usually don't scrap all of them. So that's also kind of a waste of money. And long term, I just have extra photos lying around. So yeah, 
And now back to the spread. So this is from, uh, I printed a bunch of photos from actually May. And this was a quite uh, eventful week, I would say. My mom was visiting and the weekend was quite uh, busy for us. We usually don't do a lot of things. And um, Lily is just not the most flexible baby. And yeah, it's just very hard to do stuff to go places with her at this point. So uh, my mom was here and that was good because we could use her babysitting services. And on Saturday, we took uh, my husband and I, we took Ella and her best friend to kind of, I don't know, here it's called a Telme. It's kind of like a, a spa slash water park type of thing. Country club thing. So it's just really nice and it's open um, year round but then there are because uh, a few of the things are indoors so you have like a couple of big pools that are indoors and some water slides and some um, kid friendly areas and then there's a bunch more stuff that is outside that is open when it gets uh, warmer and luckily uh, Saturday was a really nice day because the following week was just so rainy and cold uh, we actually switched up switched on the heating again for like a few hours because it was just getting a bit chilly but uh, yeah that Saturday was really really lovely so we went there and it was just you know Ella was with her friend they kind of disappeared and just you know resurfaced when they wanted something to eat and we were just sitting reading like going to the pool I'm not used to that like I'm not used to you know not having to serve some child and fulfill needs all the time and it was amazing my mom had a good time with Lily at home Lily was good so um, you know I didn't have to feel guilty about I don't know like having fun when my husband is home with the kids and not that it's you know, not fun to be home with the kids, but yeah, you know, it's just, you're like never number one <laughs> when kids are around and that's okay. <laughs> but sometimes it's really nice just to do your own thing. You know, you want to read, you can read, you want to go to the pool, you can go to the pool. And um, yeah, that was lovely. And then the next day, Sunday was Mother's Day here in Austria. And I have to say this was um, a very good representation of <laughs> my uh, job as a mom, because I went uh, with Ella and her best friend, I wanted to take them there was like a little uh, kind of festival in the town. We went there, it was hot, crowded, and even for the girls, it was too crowded. And they wanted to go to the Children Museum, so I took them to the Children Museum. Then they wanted to go to McDonald's, so uh, I took them to McDonald's. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I, you know, it was not at all about me, which is okay. <laughs> even though it would have been nice on Mother's Day to feel just a little bit spoiled, but I'm not complaining. Okay, I'm a little bit complaining, but um, yeah, it was it was exhausting, but the girls had a good time, and um, yeah, so lots to document. We also went to the mall one day with my mom, and um, Ella bought some stuff including some bath bombs from Lush if you're familiar with Lush um, so she got a few of those and for some reason she really wanted a huge uh, unicorn stuffed animal so my mom got her one and then I said okay we can't come home with this and not have one for Lily because that's just cruel because I knew Ella was not going to let Lily <laughs> get near her unicorn so we had to lug home two of these and my husband saw us coming <laughs> with these and he was just standing there <laughs> rubbing his face and yeah because we just have too much stuff I know but it's really hard I try not to buy um, I try not to buy toys for my girls. <laughs> I mean, seriously, they just have so much stuff. But when my mom is here, um, 
she always enjoys spoiling them with uh, she also spends a lot of time with them and plays with them and that's the m- most important thing but she does enjoy shopping and Ella knows it <laughs> a friend of mine <laughs> said about the kids <laughs> um, he said they are all the time collecting information gathering information <laughs> so <laughs> they do know how to get us um, I very simply created this Uh, spread in my planner with all the beautiful embellishments that I have from Chiki Studio and I really enjoyed it. It was really fast and easy and now I'm just showing you how I created some custom paper clips. So these are really easy to make. I love how it turned out. You just need some hot glue and I use some of the ribbons and then uh, one of the flare buttons just because I had more of the ribbons. I didn't have like a ton of the flare buttons and I wanted to use them also on future layouts. So I was more generous <laughs> with um, with the little ribbons and I have these arrow paper clips from Studio Calico, I think they are. I got them years ago and it just looks super, super cute. So yeah, you can see close-ups here and I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you feel inspired to play in your memory planner. Please check out Cheeky Studio Shop if you want to support a little business, uh, you know, family-owned small business of a lovely YouTuber. Then check them out and have a wonderful day. Bye.